Hey everybody, I'm Crow, and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered, the bow only run. We're at Sense Fortress, and the snakes don't see me yet. We don't have ultimate slumbering dragon crest ring powers yet. But we're getting there. What? That last one totally went through. I wanted to hit him with the thing. Okay. It didn't let me roll after that first attack. I now know to, to fear them. Though I do definitely feel like I could hit the head of that thing without hitting the shield. Does that work? Wait, does this, does the shield not actually block their head? Dude, what? We did get them individually, so that's pretty cool. How are you going to hiss at me? Stop moving so much. How am I supposed to science when you're moving? Oh, jeez. I think that might have been a fluke. And, like, at the first frame that they were starting to attack, that happened. Or they were backing up or something. Yeah, see, look, because it blocked that. Unfortunate. I was like, dude, that's so cool. I can actually hit their heads over the shields? That actually makes sense. The shield very tiny. You know, sometimes I press the button, you shoot, and they don't shoot. Anyway, man serpent's destroyed. Now we can go collect stuff. There is actually a reason to use the rusted ring of movement and stuff here. So probably put that on first. Uh, you know what? I don't really plan on coming back down here. I mean, obviously I plan on coming back down here. Later, when we have to come back for the new Londo thing. But there's a shortcut we can unlock here. You know what? Nah, let's just, let's just do it now. I am going to shimmy off of the edge, and this thing is going to notice. Okay, it actually noticed. We don't have to kill any of them, and there's nothing that we want down there, so I at least don't have to clear out the Titanite demons. I mean, if we're going to actually end up using the Dark Moon Bow, then we would need to clear them out, but... And... I mean, I'm not going to have intelligence... Or faith, or whatever it was. I think it's intelligence. I'm pretty sure it's a magic bow. Why are you not. Okay. Immune to arrows, unlike all other ones, because, like, all the other ones work just fine. I don't know. Alright, I have poison arrows. Do we want to poison arrow this? I think we might want to poison arrow this. Just to make it go a little faster. One, two. Oh my god, two arrows poisons them? That's value. Wait, do you not know where I am? What? Dude. Well, that was a waste of poison arrows. We just spent 400 souls on that, but that's okay. It shows you more accurately what their health totals are. Look at all that health. They got health for days. I had no idea that they wouldn't come over and get me. But I did know there was a Titanite chunk there, and that is why we came this way. Where well, that is one Titanite chunk that we don't have to farm. I don't remember. Do you need less Titanite chunks? Because it's only to plus... Oh, that was scary. It was only to plus 14, because plus 15 is the slab. So you might not need nine chunks, maybe you only need eight? Or something like that? Is it like one, two, three, four or something? That'd be ten. Never mind. Alright, so enemies with shields are just always a problem. I have no choice but to just be grateful that they don't have a spear. Because I still have the option of hitting them while they are mid-attack. 
if they had a spear, my options are basically just cry and die. Okay. What? What? New plan. They have shields and funny hitboxes. We will not fight the snakes. We can fight the casters. All the casters can do is make sad caster noises. But the snake... The snake can make victorious melee noises, and I don't like that. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I should have used the, the traps. That's what I was thinking on the way back. If I had just used the traps, it wouldn't have been a problem. Yeah, get destroyed. And these large titanite shards, I do believe, perfectly got me to nine. I actually forgot, like, when we were coming back up out of Blight Town, I was like, dang, if we're going to actually get one of those Dragon Slayer bows then I don't actually have enough large titanite. Anyway, I remembered that we were going to get more titanite from here. So then it wasn't a problem. Is this snake just gone? I think that snake was just to show us the way. Sigmire should be below us. I didn't get hit by the boulder. That's cool. Do you want to maybe come down here? Is that something that interests you? No? That's okay. I can I can accommodate that. I, wait. Calculated. Calculated. Alright. I love it when a plan comes together. Bring your steel protection. Situationally useful. And Siegmeier should be down there. Yeah. He's all sad because the boulder problem. So when we move the boulders, we go talk to Siegmeier. And then Siegmeier's like, wow, what a great person. You diverted the boulders. I'm saved. It's like, yes, you are. Hey, one of them hit the snake. All right, I said we weren't fighting these, didn't I? But I actually have room to fight them here. Right? Why you not do arrow? I press the arrow button. Oh, I pressed the arrow button. I pressed the arrow button. Okay. Thankfully, Estus is now a full heal. Dude, you put your shield up so fast. What even is this? I don't want to play with you anymore. I hope you get crushed by a boulder. Please, a little bit faster before Snake Boy gets over here. Boulder. Thank you. Okay. So I'm hop up here. And then they're not going to hit me. And then they're not going to hit me. And then they're not going to hit me. And then I win. But this should... get us... To great happiness. Where you see what are you doing down here? What? Well, you're stuck now. I don't know why there was a lizard person up here. But this is the slumbering dragon crest ring. We are invisible and we make no noise. Okay, now we follow the boulder. And we follow the boulder, and we follow the boulder. And we get down here. I'm probably in a terrible place, and I should be in the room. I'm probably in a terrible place, and I should be in the room. I regret everything. Ah... Okay, you swing, but then I roll. I'm just... killing time anyway. And a mimic. Not in my face! I'm using that! 
Zero deaths. Lightning spear. I'm not using that. But I killed it while we were waiting. I think we got like a thousand souls or something. I don't know. Anyway, this fills up. Oh, it already broke. If you wait long enough, then like four or five boulders fill this hole. And then every boulder after that breaks through this wall and goes down. Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. That's what it was called. Oh, okay. Completely fine. Everything's great. Nope. So that ring is going to help us get the Titanite chunks and stuff. And then everything will be super great. There's blood on this, so you know you want to get off immediately. And we end up back out here. Which is the middle ways? Yes? The middle ways. Which would allow us to get the Big Hat Logan. Which I think the Master Key will get him out? I don't know. Anyway, so that's going that way now. You know what? I don't trust this. I feel like a boulder's gonna hit me in the back. Let's just go all the way through here. And get the shortcut. Because once we get the shortcut, there's no worries. Akuna Matata. So those are going to go like that, and then I'm going to roll through there, and then I'm going to walk out here. And Snake Boy is not going to see me. And neither is Snake Girl. And dead. The one around the corner won't see us either, so I can just run up here. We're finally sneaky. Now, the, the range for, like, directly in front of them isn't great. But you can literally walk up behind them to backstab them. You could roll up to them, sprint up to them, and they would not know you were there. If they're still facing me, it's not amazing. But if they're not facing me, oh my god. Everything's fine. Look at how fine everything is. Calculated, meticulous. So there is another bonfire up here, but... Ah, you know what? You know what? You know what? We can use it. Because I'm actually going to unlock the shortcut. I don't usually unlock the shortcut. I'm going to rest at this bonfire so that when the bad things happen, we have a way out. But once you get the shortcut, it's really easy to get back up here. Super duper beyond easy. Not even a problem. So we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. And I think this is Souls or Titanite? Souls or Titanite? It was Souls. Very good. If it wasn't a chunk, I didn't care anyway. It's not a chunk, I don't care anyway. So that's the Baronique Knight, and then Ricard is over there. But I don't need Ricard's Wraith here. And I think there's also, like, a Divine Blessing up there, but I don't need Divine Blessings either. Can you hit me here? Can I hit you here? How dare you bend over when I need you to not do that? Oh god. Poisoned! Yo. Okay. I don't actually know that that's enough to kill them, and it would take roughly 5,000 years to, regardless. But I feel like we're doing work over here. Now if I could just remember which one of these was the shortcut. Notice the ring combination for some reason. Because there's no noise made by the arrows. They just ate four arrows in the face. So this is a shortcut, but I think we actually have to go... Through there, and then down, right? I know we have to go to one of these towers like this, and then... Go down. God, you're still not even close to dead yet? Is that the only place you can hit? Can I safely shoot you here? We gotta speed this up a little bit. Because I don't want to climb all the way up to the top. 
But I also need you to stop throwing things. Where that is the most rude. Where are you even getting all of those? I wonder if when they're off screen they keep taking damage, you know? Like, if I got too far away, would they stop taking poison damage and heal? I don't think they'd heal, but I don't think they would keep taking poison damage. I want to say they're basically just dead because they're going to keep dodging me when they bend over, but I should just finish what I started. I didn't come this far to give up at the last second. Boop. Giant is dead. Forever and all time, maybe. I don't remember if he respawns. He definitely respawns. In fact, I don't even think that one gives us a Titanite chunk because they respawn. But the big guy up top gives us a Titanite chunk, so I don't think they ever respawn. Because I don't remember having to kill them after every time we failed. Hey, that's a shop guy. Hey, this is me not falling down here, right? Right? Yes, we did not fall. Untimely demise. Fully avoided. Profit. And if I'm not mistaken, that is the key of great happiness. Key of great happiness. Key of great happiness. So this is the key that will allow us to open the cage that is the shortcut in Sense Fortress. If you didn't know there was a shortcut in Sense Fortress, you're going to like the shortcut. Okay, we're going to get the shortcut now. by getting the sniper crossbow. Look at that sniper crossbow that we came down here for. You wouldn't even believe how much we came down here for that crossbow. I definitely wanted to put myself in this position. I mean, it's okay because we needed to come down here for the flame plate ring, I think? Yeah, get destroyed. How dare you heal? How dare- what did that- do you not have shoulders? How did that go through you? Okay, we got a Balder Helm to sell and 500. So I think we got like 600 total because armor sells for like 100. There's going to be a dude over here. He's going to see me. He's going to cut my face. Even though I was using it like a root. Dude, you don't have arms. You literally don't have arms. Did you see that go, like, straight through the arms he's supposed to have, but doesn't? And then... Revenge! Yeah. That's what I thought. So anyway, we got the flame plate ring. So now, whenever we go down to the evil fire area, I could use that situationally if I care more about fire damage than being invisible. Which, maybe for boss fights? Because I'm like, useful for boss fights, yes. But uh, if you wear the fog ring of super awesome, then the, uh, the giant dinosaur butts down there, they don't see you. So, uh, yeah, running through there when there's no threat of giant dinosaurs, completely different zone. Kind of like, uh, Blight Town without all of the stuff coming at you. I feel like this is the strongest combination in the game. So anyway, the cage key opens this, and then you walk into this, and you're like, oh my god, it's an elevator to the very beginning of Sense Fortress, and I have now unlocked it, so I can now skip all of Sense Fortress. Which is what we're going to be using when I'm done exploring the top. This is how I'm going to get back to New Londo so that we can get the Large Ember. So anyway, Zen's Fortress kept trolling me. Because I went and jumped through the hole because that was the fastest way to get there. The giant was in combat the whole time and no matter how far I ran away, even though I was invisible and made no noise, the dra dragon, the giant never reset. So I would have had to have left Zen's Fortress and then come back again. It's Big Hat Logan and like 10,000 souls. I don't think it really matters. We're not going to use Big Hat Logan. I just always save him. So when we go back there next, maybe I will. Next time we are going to murderize the stray demon so that we can get that Titanite slab. And then we're going to go to New Londo to get the 
Large Ember. Then I'm going to farm New Londo off screen to get the Titanite chunks that we need because I'm just going to be killing Dark Wraiths over and over again with a ring on. And that will get us to plus 15. Once we have plus 15, we've basically hit maximum power and we can just head to Anor Londo and do stuff. So next time, Stray Demon, Large Ember, Waste and Arrows. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.